good morning all i am almas banu from sarvodaya college of nursing today in this video we will be seeing how to introduce a nasogastric tube it's also popularly known as rails tubes yeah by introducing a rails tube we can gain direct access to the stomach and gastric contents we will be introducing the rails tube for what for what we have to introduce the rails tube to providing food to the patient to provide feed to the patient uh, who is not able to or take oral feed no and to drain uh, to allow the drainage of gastric contents in case of drug overdose or poisoning okay and uh, for the position we will be assuming for introducing a rice tube is fowler's position only okay and the articles needed for uh, inserting a rice tube is one we need one rice tube one xylocaine jelly 150 cc syringe with some gas pads and one fixator yeah. before that before going to do a procedure obviously we will be doing hand washing okay i had done hand washing and i done the gloves now riya just for adult patients we will be mainly we will be using 16 french or 14 french rice tube okay this this is a 14 French rice tube and we have to take the measurement before that we have to explain the procedure to the patient okay if patient is conscious means we have to explain the procedure to the patient and after that we have to take the measurement from where to where you will be taking first you have to hold the rice tube in your right hand by coiling the tube okay and after that you have to measure the you have to take the measurement no from tip of the nose to the ear lobe till ear lobe you have to take the measurement okay from ear lobe to 5 centimeters below the ziffy sternum you have to take the measurement 5 centimeters below the ziffy sternum okay and this is a measurement after that you have to mark it with a marker okay mark the length of the tube with a marker and after that you have to lubricate the tip of the rice tube with a lubricant jelly or lox jelly like this you have to lubricate the tip 2 to 4 inches you have to lubricate and you have to insert gently insert the rice tube through one of the nostrils okay and you have to make it sure that the tube is not getting coiled inside the mouth of the patient okay you have to gently insert the tube without exerting any force okay if you are feeling any restriction means what you have to do you have to just pull the tube one inch backward okay one inch backward you have to up to the markings we entered okay up to the mar markings we entered and we have to see whether the tube is coiled inside the mouth of the patient now you can see see whether the coil is uh, uh, tube is coiled inside the mouth of the patient no no tube is not coiled and patient is not feeling any distress okay if patient is feeling distress means we have to discontinue stop it's not like that we have to take it out we have to stop and we have to pull okay we have to pull at least one inch back if any restriction anything we are feeling is just one inch back you can pull and you can again reinsert okay uh, you can rotate the tube and gently you can advance the tube up to the markings okay and after that by taking a 50 cc syringe you have to aspirate the gastric contents okay you have to aspirate the stomach contents like this and then you have to test this gastric content with a ph strip okay the if this is a gastric content means it will be acidic okay huh? like that after that you can fix this rice tube with a adhesive tape or fixator okay Like this you made it sure that the uh, this uh, tube is placed only uh, like that but before giving the feed this is not the confirmatory test before starting feed through this tube you have to take chest x-ray of the patient it is mandatory without taking chest x-ray we are not supposed to start any feed with this tube understood yes, 
ഓക്കേമാ താങ്ക് യു